The same day I got the uh, RAV4, I was on Marketplace and I noticed this uh, Honda Accord that was uh, sort of a broken dream story. The kid had it, I worked up at the parts store. He bought it because he figured he could be able, you know, to make a car out of it for himself. But um, to 2004. It's got the VTEC, and uh, basically, besides that rust right there, it took a pretty hard hit in the back, and uh, he thought that he could buy it, fix it up, you know, throw a bumper cover on it. Well, to his surprise, when he took it off, it was hit really hard and uh, everything structurally back there is all pushed forward but um, I didn't feel like trying to drag this off of there since I just you know fought to get it on so I just uh, I just said you know what it's only uh, it was only about five minutes down the street and uh, I just fired it up and drove it back Drives perfectly fine. Runs good. AC works. It's got uh, it's got the leather. It's got the leather gut. The old power moonroof. Not a bad little car. Basic little uh, flex pipe leak at the front. They all do. Got 168 on it. Maintenance is required. Yep. He had it listed on there for a uh, thousand bucks, thousand firm, and uh, I was like, well. We all know he's not going to get that. So I said, you know, he mentioned the magical words were, I want this out of my driveway. So I said, you know what? What's, what can it hurt to send a message sometimes? I just said, hey, I remove cars and uh, I offered him $200 for it because I knew that these Hondas have good cats on them, and uh, they have the ones with the O2 sensor right in them, so, he didn't answer me at first, but, you know, I just give it some time, they always get back to you, and, uh, well, sometimes, but, he said, hey, uh, you still interested in that Honda, and I said, yeah, you got the title to it, oh, you gotta find it, so, he got back to me, he said he found the title, and uh, I said, well, you know, you got listed for 
he had marked it down to 900 from a thousand so uh, I said look, look you know I don't want to waste your time or mine or anything so I mean what do you you know what you what do you got to get for this thing you know because you know I can't pay much for it just for scrap you know it's, it's you know not much more than that for me so um he said, well, I'd be happy with 400 and I said, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but you're not going to get, you know, I'm not the guy that's going to give you 400 for it, um, you know, I, I'd only be interested for 200 like I said, because I felt that was a, a good price that I could still get it and uh, make money, so he said, yeah, he said, you know, I bought this car, and I got screwed on it, and now it's sitting in my driveway, and the same old broken dream story, you know, he, uh, sick of looking at it, he drove it for a week like it was, and he said, uh, you know, it just gets to that point where you gotta cut your losses, and, uh, what are you gonna do, you know, so, he said, yeah, he said, I'll be happy with the 200 bucks and see it leave, so I went over there, jumped it, fired it up, and, uh, drove it home, like I said, drives perfectly fine, so, Couple of cherries. That's what I'm talking about. Make the suburban go gurgle. Gurgle. Ooh, that one just jumped right out. Couple of bombers. Oh. Decided that uh, I'm just going to bring the light iron down to that guy down the street and uh, 
I'm just going to keep bringing it in and adding it up so then when I finally go in and get paid, it seems like I'm getting more. And then I forget about all the work that I did to get this stuff. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But also, he's not getting any of my number one. Um, just hoard it. And plus, you know, I get a lot of stuff now that I can make things out of. And, you know, that's the fun of it. Big, massive uh, grate. It was eight feet long. I cut it in half so it was more manageable. Got to be able to use that for something. Got this uh, stainless little griddle that somebody made. You can, uh, I was looking for something like this for camping, you know, you put over the fire. You can put some extensions on for legs and make it whatever height you want. And that'll clean right up. Because it's just all uh, stainless steel, so. Get all kinds of good stuff. Got a... Got a lot of work ahead of me. Just got all this stuff unloaded today. All this copper and brass got to be all processed and cleaned, and all this aluminum's got to be cut down. Screws taken out. Get a little little wood for the fire pit over there from that house, and you know you get a little bit of everything. A little stuff you can use, and you know. Little chuchin pipes and some. Look at this nice plate steel. Use that for something. So I paid 200 for this car, and uh, the cat that's on it, I got a price of 280. So you do the math. I'm already making money and uh, fortunately I won't be killing this one so I got a little different plan yeah the, uh, the guy I was selling cats to he opened up a little small little yard and he's been buying complete cars but you know he buys cars off people and of course most people really don't know you know the value of uh, of the cats, and you know, and they're not gonna go to the bother of cutting it off and doing all that anyway. Even if they did know, most of them anyway. In fact, a lot of them are just driving into him because the price of uh, the price of scrap everywhere else at the big yards is real low. So he's buying complete cars, and he's uh, you know he's completely coring them out taking all the cores out, like, I mean, you know, wheels, tires, cats, alternators, starters, batteries, you know, stuff like that, so, um, I worked out a little different deal with them, where I gotta meet up with them anyway, and it's gonna be, you know, an hour ride, I mean, he's about, his yard is about another half an hour from where I would meet him, to buy the cats so anyway he um he'll buy the complete cars for more like this car he'll give me like 150 for where i would only get about 50 dollars for this as just weight over the scale down the street same he pays more for suvs uh because they're a little heavier they have you know all-wheel drive and differentials and stuff like that and then, of course, he pays more for full-size trucks and vans. Many vans is a whole separate price. So I can um, I can bring the cars to him, and he'll pay me separately for the cat as long as I cut it off. And I bring it to him separate. And he'll pay me for each wheel that's on the cars and the batteries whatever I have I can bring extras I can bring extra wheels and he'll buy them all so it's all like a one-stop thing and uh, he pays cash so it works out pretty nice 
So I think what my plan is going to be is uh, obviously I'm going to be towing that one. And this one runs perfectly fine. So I'm going to cut the cat off of it. And I'm going to put a quick pipe in. The exhaust isn't too good anyway up there. It's leaking a little loud. So I'm going to put a piece of pipe in real quick. <clears throat> I think. And uh, a couple, you know, tack it up there. And uh, sort of come back here and um, spend a few minutes with a few, uh, few screws here and there. And something better. To uh, fasten this trunk down so it looks a little more respectable going down the road you know I got some of that red tape and stuff just uh, put over that and a couple screws here and there and uh, I think what I'll have is I'll just uh, I think what I'll do is I'll have my wife follow me in this it's about uh, it's about an hour and a half, maybe a little more, to take the back roads from here, um, all the way to that guy's place. So I can take this car, the Toyota, the two converters, a bunch of other stuff that I have, some more wheels over there off the Blazer that the guy didn't buy. And uh, whatever else I got in uh, the next couple of days here, take it down and get paid for everything at once. Get rid of this shit.